जय श्री राधे सब वैष्णवों को जय श्री कृष्ण सादर सप्रेम सदैन्य सानंद जय श्री कृष्ण टुडे इज डे टू हंड्रेड ऑफ आर रीडिंग्स एंड वी कंटिन्यू विथ वार्थ वन नाइन्टी द स्टोरी पीतांबर दास कंटिन्यूइंग फ्रॉम यस्टडे Shri Gosaiji felt better immediately after taking it then he fell asleep on the ground resting on the ground itself Shri Gokunati also slept when Shri Gosaiji arose he cooked made the offerings and then partook of the prasad they stayed in that same place for the night in the morning after their ablutions they again had the holy sight of Shri Govardhan Naji when he had completed his seva in his temple Shri Gosaiji initiated the Shri Giriraji parikrama they travelled in the south eastly A southerly direction, and after visiting Manasi Ganga, Shri Gosaiji performed his Sandhya Vandana prayers on Param Hakund. They all took the holy site of Shri Rasikaraiji and Shri Dani Raiji and moved on to bathe in the Sankarshan Kund. Shri Gosaiji put on his dhoti, applied his sacred forehead mark, and followed the Parikrama path until he came back to Shri Nathji's own temple, where he entered. He and all the gathered Vaishnavas partook of prasad there. Then Shri Gosaiji went to Gantoli where he stopped for a while. He rose in the night and moved on to Paramdara Hill, Sugandhi Shila. Then they turned right and came to Shwet Parvat. Moving on and keeping Badri Narayan to their left, they came to Indroli and then Indrakoop. He bathed there, touched Vimal Kund, bathed in Surya Kund, visited Shwet Kund, had the holy site of Shwet Ban Shwet Ban the rameshwar and saw the nanda gopas as well as and the sorry the nanda gopa well and the chorasi kund then on the first day of the bright half of bhadra padrapad they came to sunhera ki kadam kandi and visited sunhera village they saw the chitra vichitra stones and then shri gosaiji went back to his camp in the morning he bathed in deha kund touched the water in ratan kund traveled to chiksoli touched no nove and chowri moved through dovan and arrived at sanket one he sat under the banyan tree at sanket but by the ras mandal and this became his betak this sanket is also known as vilas but he bathed in krishna kund moved throughout all the forested areas there before bathing in Mad- madu kund and yashoda kund visiting shri nandaraji shri yashoda ji lalit kund and vraj vrajvari kund he came to shri gopeshwar akrur ghat Uttareshwar Ghat, and then to Akrur Stal. Shri Gosaiji then went through the Ishwar Ki Pokhara Lake, through Rag Ki Kyari, where Uddhav tried to teach the gopis, and on to Maan Kund, and further to Jalavihar Shri Thakuji Ki Kadam Kandi. That was Rag Ki Kyari, where Uddhav tried to teach the gopis. Then he went to Panasarovar. He cooked at that place and offered the preparations to Shri Takuji. He accepted the offerings back as prasad and Nepa took of that prasad. On the third day of the bright half of Bhadrapad, he went to Kid Kidharavan and bathed in the Nan- Nanakund therein. He continued his circumnambulation of Vraj with an offering to Nagavali before going to Karahela and Anjan Onkar. This is where Shri Yashoda ji applied collyrium to Shri Takuji's eyes. At that place there is a ras mandal from the time of the Nautan kalp. He then veered off to the left and visited Shri Yashoda's Shri Yashoda ji's pihar, her mother's family home. Shri Gosai ji had his camp set up at that place and in the early morning touched the Balabhadra kund there. At the site of the Charan Pahari went to Dadi Kham and had the holy site of Shri Rishabhanu ji so the Sankha kund traveled on to Saigam keeping Sheshashai to his left this completed the tour of 17 raja forests here can be found the place associated with Ali Khan Gorav a little later on Shri Gosaiji had kheer prepared there was a huge downpour of rain and the kheer got washed away on the fifth day of the bright half of the month early in the morning Shri Gosaiji proceeded to Rasoli and Bachawan and from there to Saigam and Ramgat there Shri Baldev ji had made the sri yamuna ji river flow in reverse nearby is akshay bhat which is where the lord slayed the demon pralambhasura shri gosai ji moved on to balabhadra ghat camped there on the banks of sri yamuna ji 
This completed 18 forests. Then Sri Gosaiji touched Balabhadra Kund and Madhusudan Mad- Kund before arriving in Bandirwan, where there is a well-named uh, Bandir Koop. He circumambulated Bandirwan before cooking and offering and partaking of the prasad. They came to Belwan. This was forest number 20. When the sun was rising, Sri Gosaiji bathed in Mansarovar, visited the Rasastal there. His Ras, this Ras Mandal is from the Saraswat Kalp and should be meditated upon. In Bacharor, Sri Taguji had slain Bachasura. Bachasura. Keeping these places to the left, he went to Lohawan. He touched the Kund there, 21 forests. Then Sri Gosaiji came to Mahawan, Brahman, Ghat, Yamalarjun, before having the holy site of Sri Mataranaji. He moved on to Nandakup from Ukul, visited Sri Rohanaji's temple. He proceeded to Sapta Samudra, Uttareshwara, Ramanreti, and then on to Gokul. There he prepared offerings for Sri Thakuji. After, ta- after partaking of the prasad, he stayed in the night. He stayed the night in Sri Mataraji, twenty-two forests. Then Sri Gosaiji came to Sri Vrindavan. He saw Dharmakund, Venukup, and had the holy site of Sri Govind Devji. He went from Keshi Ghat and Bansi Bhatt, and then returned to Sri Mataraji. He had completed twenty-four forests on the seventh day of the bright half of Bhadrapad. He then took. All the accompanied Vaishnavas, including Pitambara Das, back to Gokul with him. He facilitated them all to have the holy site of Sri Namanit Priyaji and all the seven Swarupas in this way. Sri Gosaiji, greatly graced Sri Pitambara Das, who never left the close shelter of Sri Gosaiji's lotus feet. He was ready, day or night, to serve him in any way. Bar Prakash, the moral of this story is that all Vaishnavas should at some time in their life undertake the tour of all of Braj. By doing so, they will begin to comprehend the true form of the land of Braj. <coughs> the Braja land itself, herself is an accomplished devotee. Therefore, love for the Lord can easily arise in the heart of one who has her holy sight and contemplates her in their heart. Thus concludes Vartha 190, the story of Pitambar Das, who received Sri Gosaiji's great grace and was an accomplished Vaishnava. There is no end to his tale. Continuing now with Vartha 191, the story of Beni Das Kshetriya from Kara who met a ghost, Bhav Prakash. This is a devotee, a devotee of Tamasi disposition. In the eternal Leela, his name is Sadhya, who manifests from Mohini and is thus a personification of her divine loving sentiment. He was born into a Kshetriya family in the east. His parents died when he was 40. Part 1. Once a party of Vaishnavas was travelling to Sri Sigosaiji from the east, Beni Das went with that group, bringing wealth from his home. They took some time to reach Gokul and Beni Das caught sight of Sri Gosaiji. He had the vision of Sri Gosaiji as the Lord himself, more beautiful than a million love gods. Beni Das requested Sri Gosaiji to initiate him with the Lord's name. Sri Gosaiji instructed him to go to bathe. Beni Das took his bath in the Sri Yamanaji River and came back to Sri Gosaiji, where he stood with his hands respectfully folded and again supplicated him to take him with his shelter, take him into his shelter. Sri Gosaiji initiated Beni Das with the Lord's name and the following day Beni Das fasted. Thereafter, Sri Gosaiji initiated him with the Brahma Samband in the presence of Sri Namanit Priyaji. Beni Das donated all the wealth he had brought him to Sri Gosaiji, who then took him to have the holy site of Sri Namanit Priyaji. Beni Das was overjoyed. He continued to reside in Gokul together with the other members of the group. When Sri Gosaiji was reading Sri Acharya Sri Bodhiniji and giving divine discourse, Beni Das would sit and fan him continuously. Sri Gosaiji left for Sri Natadvara and the group accompanied him there. Beni Das had the holy sight of Sri Govard and Nachi with them. With Sri Gosaiji's powerful blessings, Sri Nachi granted Beni Das a very divine vision. Beni Das forgot his physical body. When he came to, he requested Sri Gosaiji's permission to go on a tour of the whole of Raj. Many days later, he returned and went and went straight away went to have the holy site of Sri Nachi. Sri Gosaiji asked him, O oh, Beni Das, did you complete your Vrajyatra? Beni Das supplicated, O oh, Maharaj, with your blessings, I have benefited so much from a fine Vrajyatra. Sri Gosaiji gave Mahaprasad to all the Vaishnavas there before leaving for Gokul. The Vaishnava group took their leave of Sri Nachi, offered donations, and then they also went to Sri Gokul. There they had the holy site of Sri Navanit Priyaji. One day, Beni Das requested Sri Gosaiji to grant him seva, which Sri Gosaiji did. He also taught him all the ways of seva. Thereby, Beni Das realized Sri Takuji's true form as the supreme divine personality, and his faith in his Sri Takuji Swarup became firm and solid. 
The Vaishnava group then took leave of Sri Gosaiji and set off on their way back home. So Arj Kayananda Kijay, we will pause until tomorrow. Jai Shri Radhe Ji, Sabvaishnavanko Sadar Jai Shri Krishna, Arj Kayananda Kijay. Jai Ho.